Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna jump back in and we're gonna continue working on our mountain fall diorama. Let's go. So here we jump right in. I removed all of the old structures that I did with the 3D printed pen and now starting to add in the new ones. Uh, kind of experimenting with some leftover plastic sheets from uh, some building kits that I was working on earlier in the week. And uh, just kind of seeing if it's something I'd, I'd like to use as a replacement of the original design. So we'll see. Still might, still might change it as we go, but for now, it's working well. to get myself together here i keep recording <laughs> in vertical so i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure i keep a better eye on that for the next video and there we have it we got our initial structure down finally so originally i just used um strings of the 3d pen plastic to create a structure but it's just simply not strong enough and it looks ugly so i know you can kind of see all the black right now but i think my intention will be to paint them blue uh, so they're a little bit less subtle um, so yeah we'll see anyway but for now i'm really happy with this and if you look at the top you can see the profile of the drawing that I made where all the all of them line up to make a bird's eye view shape of the the T shape of the, the overall island. But you can see that each one is its own separate island with the three floating ones. So the one, two, three that float on top of them. But I staggered it so you can still see each one separately. Damn, I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> One other thing I wanted to point out. So these black pieces um, that I used to replace the original uh, 3D pen plastic structure, which I still have here. As you can see, it's quite ugly. I actually just used some leftover Gundam runners for a kit that I was making, although it's not actually Gundam. It's this cool guy over here. Not sure what anime he's from. I think it's like, it's Ling, Ling Lang uh, Cage Incarnation or something. I mean, he's pretty cool too, but I didn't grade him. So anyway, I just had a bunch of these left over, so I cut them into individual sticks, cut off all the little overhang pieces. They're all in here. And uh, yeah, that's all. I just want to point that out. I also wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of a cool project that I'm making and I'm printing. And I got this commissioned by a guy on Instagram named Aztec Studios. He makes 3D helmets. He's well known for making um, uh, like an iconic Red Hood helmet. He does a lot of Batman armor. Um, definitely go check him out. I'll put him in the in my description. In the description below so feel free to check him out and here it is so it's the back of the helmet that's printing face down so on the base plate is the back of the helmet and then it's printing upwards to the face of the helmet so it comes out a little smoother so yeah so if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the progress that we're making feel free to leave a comment thumbs up if you got any questions let me know um yeah we're we're we've got the the foundation down now so we can start working on the the small detail smaller details and start kind of adding the finesse and getting it all ready for for the toy show that's coming up um, i have a toy show coming up on may 31st and this is meant to be the main display piece uh for the tape for the booth so um yeah, and once we got that set up, we'll start working on some other projects and I'll get you guys in the loop. All right, see you later.
Bye.